For millions of years, Earth was fertile and rich. Then pollution and waste began to take their toll. Civilization fell into ruin. This is the world of the 25th century. Only a handful of scientists remain, men who have vowed to rebuild what has been destroyed. This is their achievement. Arc 2, a mobile storehouse of scientific knowledge, manned by a highly trained crew of young people. Their mission, to bring the hope of a new future to mankind. Arc 2 log, entry number one. I, Jonah, Ruth, Samuel, and Adam are fully aware of the dangers we face as we venture into unknown, maybe even hostile areas. But we're determined to bring the promise of a new civilization to our people and our planet. Part two log, entry 78. We're on our way through sector 49, area 16. We have heard of the existence of a village in this area where the young rule the old. Our mission is to investigate this unusual society. Grandfather? 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 Oh, Grandfather, I'm so happy to see you again. Are you alone, Diana? Well, yes, why wouldn't I be? If I could only trust you, Diana. If I could only be sure that it's you talking and not, not Omega. Oh, Grandfather, come home with me, please. Not as long as there Omega. He is. Let's get him. Child, you didn't. Granddaughter, Diana, she is in danger. Help her. Where is she? She is on her way to our village. You must stop, stop her. She, she's... Oh. Oh. Now you three stay here with him till I get back. Oh. Hey, Ruth, this is weird. Picking up strange sounds. What do you mean, strange? <sighs> Here it comes again. Alpha waves. And it's... It's like they're trying to tune me in. Sam, I'll be with you as soon as I finish this body scan. Little girl! Is your name Diana? 
Uh, yes? Mine's Jonah. Your grandfather asked me to find you. He said you were in some kind of danger. I'm sorry. He's been hurt. Omega can help him. Omega? Omega's our leader. He can do anything. I'll take you to him. Jonah at Arc 2. Come in, Arc 2. Samuel, do you read me? See so you bright and clear, Jonah. Go ahead. I found Diana. How's her grandfather? Still out. But Ruth says he'll be okay. Good. Diana doesn't seem to be in any danger. I'm uh, going to meet the leader of her village. See you later, Jonah. You hear anything? No. Should I? I guess not. Samuel, listen to me and do as I say. Only you can hear me. It will take me more time to get to the others. For now, you will obey me. Come to me now. people do any of the important jobs? Of course not. Why? That is a logical question, Captain Jonah. It has a logical answer. Machine. A perfect machine created to build a perfect society. A society in which the youth will rule. But why? It is only logical. The old ones cause the problems I am solving. For the good of all, they must be kept in their place. Of course. So you're the big boss, right? You object? You're darn right I do. Young and old were responsible for what happened. They don't need a machine to think for them. You are not ready to accept me yet. In a short time, you will, like your crewmate, Samuel. What about Samuel? He is already willing to obey me. I don't believe you. I cannot lie. Younger minds are quicker to accept me. The older ones take more time. I have caused the interference. Turn your command over to me. I think the time has come to turn you off. Advance no further, Captain. Any attempt to deactivate me Triggers my defense mechanism.
Jonah, did you see Samuel? No, what's wrong? He took off. Like he's in some kind of a daze. I tried to reach him, but he doesn't answer. I tried to reach you, too, but... Let's try him again. Arc 2 calling Samuel. This is the Arc 2 calling Samuel. Come on, Samuel, let me hear you. Why doesn't he answer? I've got a good idea. Welcome, Samuel. You will be a fine addition to our society. Yes, Omega. We go home, Samuel. Please, we go home. So your people didn't build Omega? No. That was built by a society that no longer exists. But three weeks ago, we decided to reactivate it because we thought it could help us. Three weeks ago? And in three weeks, it completely took over? Yes. Well, why weren't you affected by Omega? I was the oldest in the village, and when I saw what was happening, I ran away. I got out of the range of its power. So the younger you are, the faster you're affected. Jonah? I got all the information. That computer was built in the 21st century. It's known as the Checkmate, Model Omega. Can it be deactivated? Yes, but only by the right combination of moves across the chessboard around it. Oh, well, then we're home free. Well, not exactly. Take a look at this. I have to memorize before I can deactivate Omega? That's the only way you're going to get through without being burned to a crisp. Well, that could take me days. There's got to be a better way. There isn't. You have to move from one square to another in sequence. And you've got to move fast. And you only have seconds for each move. Fight it! With all your will! <laughs> I'd like to say this, but my advice to you is leave your crewmate behind. You cannot resist Omega for long while you're in his range. We're not leaving anybody behind. Who says I have to memorize that? I'm approaching the village now, Bruce. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Are you sure Omega won't be able to interfere with our transmission? Positive. The anti-scrambler is functioning perfectly. Look, Samuel, your friend Jonah is joining us. Ruth, I'm at the laser field now. Give me my first move. Here it comes. Start in the King's file. Repeat. King one is your first move. Got it. Advance to King's Bishop two. You have no chance. You cannot succeed. Move right to King two. Now to Queen 3. 
switches at the top of the computer. You have to push them in order. Yellow. Green. And red. I see them. You will never be able to disarm my brain center. Obey me, Jonah. Cease. Wonderful little nine creature, you. <laughs> he did it. He did it. it. <laughs> Come on, Marcus. We're heading for your village. You think you can reprogram this thing to take orders instead of giving it? You have already done so, Captain Jonah. My function is to obey and serve mankind. <laughs> now that's what I call being logical, right? Diana! Oh, don't 
Stop being a child. Oh. How could we ever have treated you the way we did? Oh, never mind, child. Now, never mind. There's nothing you could have done. How do you two feel? A little wobbly. Wow. What a mind blower. We'll be all right. Thanks to you, pal. How could we ever have handed over our freedom to Omega so blindly? We can never express our gratitude. All of you have given us another chance. Yes, a second chance. Let's hope we learn from our mistakes this time. Arc 2 log, entry 79. Omega will never again be able to impose dehumanizing ideas on mankind. Young and old are important in our society. Neither should have total control over the other. If we are to survive, we must learn to help each other and work together.